understanding. You guys are destroyed, right, for a lack of knowledge. You don't know who you are. You're not keeping no commandments. All right, so you have to be taught again. You have to know what you've done wrong, right, that you may be part of the judgment that's coming. But, okay, so give me, give me um, Isaiah 1 and 3 to start off. Start at 1 and 1. And one. Because my people don't know, my people don't know the prophecies of this book. Right? Show on, bro. They don't know, they don't know that this book is filled with prophecies. Actually hold that and give me and, and give me John John 3 and 1. Alright. Because the Christian pastor teaches our people, they love they love talking about you need to be born again. You guys haven't been born again. You haven't been born again in one bit. I don't care. I don't care how often you want to go to church on Sunday, how little you want to read the Bible, how righteous you think you are because you wear a tuxedo every Sunday. You guys haven't been born again. You guys still being wicked, eating pork, not doing anything different than you were doing before you came out in the church and after you came out of the church. The same when you went in, the same when you come out. Huh. So how are you born again? But people actually think that that getting dipped in water is gonna change them from being wicked. You 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 were the devil before you got dipped in the water. You're the devil when you came out. Speaking of specifically of you white people, huh? Okay, so so read. This is the book of John, chapter three, verse one. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a Nicodem ruler of the Jews. Nicodemus is a ruler of the Jews. And he's one of my grandpa's personal favorites. All right, read. The saint came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest. See, Nicodemus was smart. Because later on in the book, you read about the Jews coming to, to the Messiah, talking about they seen all the miracles that he did and they still and they're still questioning whether he's the messiah or not see our people can see all these miracles even if the, the most high you guys most high showed the children of israel all these miracles coming out of egypt the people still didn't want to listen to so how much more when you guys can't see miracles before you today physical making most high making thing rain down from heaven and dropping people dead in front of your face you you guys wouldn't believe if he, if he did that in your face. You'd still be wicked. How much more when the Most High is not, not physically showing you amazing, spectacular miracles? So you guys are just not going to believe that much more. Just keep reading. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. So you, guys, you guys have to be born again to see the kingdom. You can't be wicked when you go to church on Sunday and then wicked when you come out talking about you're born again. See, huh. you're being, you're being, so, you're being over-righteous. You're being self-righteous. That's right. You're not, you, you haven't done nothing to change your ways. You, you still breaking the laws of the Most High God. Huh. There ain't nothing, there's no difference between you and a Satan worshiper who, who, who sacrifices babies and kills cats and dogs next, next to the man who doesn't keep the laws of God. That's right. You're the same exact, you're, not, you're doing nothing different. All you're saying is, oh, I believe in Christ, so so I, I'm better than you, I'm saved. When the Bible says, he that endureth unto the end is saved. Huh. You guys really, why would the Most High choose somebody who, who says they believe on him over somebody who, who believes on him and his son and keeps the laws, such as the commandments that he commanded people to keep? Why huh. would he choose somebody who just says they believe? But that's but that's that's how deceived you people are. You black and spank stage needs. That's how much the, the, the so-called white man put it in your head. That's how much you beat it in your head to that that all you have to do is have faith. You don't have to keep you don't have to keep the laws of God. Though. In fact, the white man has made it has made it seem like an evil thing to keep the laws of God. People will be like, you bring up the laws to our people, yo, 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 chill, man. You what about that faith? You guys get so offended at the laws of God. You guys are nasty, wicked demons, man. That's why we got a bunch of pedophiles and homosexuals and transgenders and a white man's able to go around enslaving you blacks and spanks and native Indians and calling you all sorts of derogatory terms and able to rule the world, world of wickedness. Because, because we got nothing but a bunch of God-haters up in this earth. That's right. 
I mean, you best space and interviews want to follow after. Huh. This is Romans chapter 2 verse 13. For the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of Salakia. For not the hearers of the law are just before God. So you can't just keep walking by day in and day out, listening and watching videos of the Israelites preaching the words and law sessions and commandments and the faith. You can't just be hearing it and not doing anything. Huh? Right? Read. But the doers of the law shall be justified. But you gotta do something. But did Abraham did Abraham not do anything? Did Abraham not was Abraham not about to kill his only his only son? But the most high had to call the angel to stop him? Huh. Abraham didn't just say like, yeah, yeah, I believe, I believe the most high is gonna make my descendants great. He's gonna make me king. He's gonna make me a strong lineage. Over and make, give me a lot of descendants. He didn't just believe it. The Most High told him to do something, and he did it. That's why the Most High found him just. Fine. Huh. But our people, our people, our people don't read. Our people just want to hear the white man. White men don't want to keep the law, such the commandments. These guys, these these white man is such a, such a, a stupid demon that these guys can't even realize the miracle was was so great when they had us in captivity, right? But at that same time, they they kept traditional Christian values. That's why. That's why you guys held, held had your country up in, in the standard that it was. Your woman, your woman at least were wearing modest clothing. You at least condemned homosexuality to a certain degree. That's when the white man's country was great. But now look at them. They got everybody. You got you got damn butt naked, six foot tall white men walking around the street, flashing their flashing their damn genitals around and walking with with, with five year olds. This is this is the future. This is what they call, they call progress. You telling me this is progress? You see aliens want to come and, and come down to the earth and see Nate and humans walking naked in the streets? But you guys are so smart, right? You guys are nothing but the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Okay. So, so give me... Give me... Um, what was I going to get? What was I get? Yeah, Isaiah 1 and 1. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 1. All right. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos. She saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. So this book was written during the during the time that that the Israelites knew who they were, when when the, when they had rule, kings ruling over them. Isaiah wrote this. Okay, so jump to verse three. Isaiah chapter one verse three: The ox knoweth his owner, and the ax the ass his master's crib. Right. But Israel does not know. So God, so how how is it that this is being written during the time that Israel knows who they are, but the Most High is going to say that Israel don't, don't know who they are? Of course, at the time Israel knew who they were, but this is a future prophecy. Huh. It's a future prophecy that Israel would not know who they were, right? And, and and now we're out here walking. Our people are walking back and forth, thinking they're they're the color black, thinking they're they're two different continents. They don't know what country they come from in the west coast of Africa. They don't know what tribe they come from. So you just call yourself after the continent. That's it. You put on a dashiki and that's it. All right? All right? So give me Ezekiel 30, 36 and 17. Right? So there's the most I got prophesied that you black, Hispanic, and native Indians wouldn't know who, who you are. The church of Israel wouldn't know who they are. Right? Huh. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 17. Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land. So the Most High God is speaking to you, black Samaritan and native Indians. He's saying, when you guys dwelt in your own land, right? Read. They defiled it by their own way. You guys defiled it. Walking after. No, you defiled it by walking after what you wanted to do. Doing what you thought was right in your own eyes. Okay, that's how you guys defiled the land. Right, read. And by their doings, their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman. So you were, so the Most High abhorred you for that. The Most High didn't like. The Most High gave us straight commandment to keep His last statutes and commandments. And what, because we dwelt in the land and we didn't do that, the Most High got upset with us. But give me, give me Jeremiah seventeen and nine. the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 
The heart is deceitful above all things. See that, and that's what our people start to follow in now. The white man is telling you to do what you want to do. You, it's, it's all about pleasing your flesh. Celebrate your birthdays. Do do Christmas. Don't don't do any of the holy days that's written in the Bible. Though you call yourself a Christian, but but keep everything that's not in the Bible. So that's 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 our people now. Our people want to do 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 things that 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 pleases them. Right? The heart is deceitful. You guys think you're doing right in your own eyes, you're not. The only thing that's right is what the Most High God commanded men to do. Huh. Which is keep His law, statutes, and commandments. Huh. Okay, read. And desperately wicked, who can know it? That's right. The heart is desperately wicked. So give me Ezekiel 30, 34. Right? And... I didn't know. Give me Ezekiel 33 and and give me 25. Ezekiel 33 and 25. Wherefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, ye eat with the blood and lift up your eyes toward your idols That's and right. shed blood. That's right. You guys, you guys, you guys are rejoicing. Our people are pride in the, in the situation that they're in, in the downtrodden state that you, that you black Spanish native Indians are in. You guys are prideful, right? And you guys are violent as hell. The ch our children, our men, our women, we're all violent as hell. To one another especially. Uh, right? Read. And shall ye possess the land? So why should why should you guys even have your own land? Why should we have our own? Why should blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians have a, their own land to dwell together when we're so violent to one another? When we, when all we do is serve other gods and we're, when we're not in un con one concord with each other. Can you read it? Ye stand upon your sword, ye work abomination. That's what you, that's what, that's what we do. In the, in the, in the downtrodden state that we're in, in the ghettos that we that we've been putting in, in the Americas, and all the lands we've been scattered to, we're working evil and abominations. And, and we're violent towards one another. It's the main, it's the main thing. We, we can't show no love towards one another. Can you read? And you defile everyone, his neighbor's wife. And you guys, you guys defiling your brother's wives. Committing adultery. You guys, you guys rejoice in committing adultery. You guys make music about committing adultery. Right? That's, that's what black Hispanic and Native Indians do. Read? And shall ye possess the land? Why the most is asking you? He's telling you why why are you guys gonna do all this and, and why should I give you the land? When the most said we the only reason we got the land in the first place is if we keep the law sections and commandments. So why so why should black Hispanics and Native Indians have their own land when we can't keep the law sections and commandments when the most I got? So therefore we had to be scattered in, in these lands. Oh. Wait, was that in on it? Say thou thus unto them, thus saith the Lord God. As I live, surely they that are in the waste shall fall by the sword. And him that is in the open field will I give to the beast to be devoured. And they that be in the forts and in the caves shall die of pestilence. This is, this is why so much death and destruction is happening to black Hispanics and Native Indians. Huh. Right? Because you guys don't want to keep the laws of God. The most I indeed, the most I ain't care if the, if the other nations don't want to keep his law, sections, and commandments. No, the most I is worried about you black Hispanics and Native Indians. Black Hispanic Native Indians not keeping us laws. That's, That's the problem with you guys. You guys are lawless as hell and out of order. And you don't want you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. Huh. You see, you're gonna get upset that we're gonna tell you that you're out of order and that that you need to get you need to get in order. You need to love each other. You need to serve the Most High your God. You guys think the white man's gonna want wants you guys to be on the same equal level as him? Why would the white man do that? Why would he why would he waste his time taking this land to give to give you guys equal power as him? The only way you're gonna get out of this situation is through the most high God and his holy begotten son Yahweh Shad. That's right. Yahweh Bashum Yahweh Shad, that's the only way. You, 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 if you guys think that you're gonna you're gonna fight the white man's military, you, you, with you guys out of order the way you are, it's not gonna work, man. I'm telling you right now, you guys are you guys are imagining a vain thing. 
give me give me Ezekiel 34 and 31. We're going to do Narani. Ezekiel 34 and 1. 21. 21. 31. 31. 31? Yeah. Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye, my flock of my pasture, are men. And so I am your flock. 33, 33, 33. 30, Ezekiel 33 and 31. And they come unto thee as the people come in. And they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, see, but they will not do them. See, that's that that's that's a problem. You guys will come up all the time. You'll give us these smooth words. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll come back. I'll come back next time, man. Yeah, the most high, yeah, you help us, y'all shy, shalom, brother, shalom. Hebrew this, Hebrew that, y'all in Hebrews. You guys tell up, boasting man's up. You love talking all these smooth talks, saying you're gonna come back. Saying, oh yeah, you send me your number, yo. I'll follow you up on Instagram. You guys do all this stuff. Come by sitting here in the words of the Most High God, but when the last section of commandments come out, and when we tell you you have something to do, you don't do it. Done. Right. So the Most High, the Most High is fed up with you guys. Read. For with their mouth they show much love. That's what. That's our, that's the blackest flag in the Indian man. Huh? Y'all love showing love with your mouths, but it, but 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 when you when you when you go home at the end of the day, you guys are done slandering each other. Committing adultery on one another, ready to kill each other and shoot each other. Read. Read. But their heart goeth after their covetousness. That's right. You guys go after your covetousness. You guys want to be more. You want to get more money. You want get. You want material gain. You're not supposed to fall after the wall. That's a white man's car. That's a carnal thing, man. Huh. The white man is. That's a, what the white man does. The white man wants money. He wants more material possessions. He wants to rape, rob, and destroy the earth. He just wants to fulfill himself for the short time that he has. Huh. That's that's how these and that's how these other nations live. They want to please their flesh for for the quick time they got, so they, they just do that yolo. They yolo it up. That's right. Forget the next generation. The the native Indians cared about the next generation. They prolong the generation. They prolong the life. Right. But the white man comes in to try to cut everything up, huh. pollute the whole earth, so that nobody can inhabit it. Read. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song. Right? They see that they see that we got some wisdom, knowledge, and understanding up here. They see our Bibles marked up. They see how we can hop from, from Genesis to Revelations, from Hebrews to John. Right? Read. Of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. But you guys do but, but their actions, man. The problem with the blackest man in Native is their actions. They, they love smooth talk, but their actions are so far from the words of the Most High God. Huh. From keeping the law sections and commandments of the Most High God. And that's the problem with you guys. Okay, the, white, the white man keeps telling you guys, you guys have been going to church for so long, hearing all this faith and all these smooth words. You guys don't want to do any, you guys don't want to make any effort, any change to your life to keep the law sections and commandments of the Most High God. The only thing black Hispanics and Native Indians haven't done. You tried being black, you tried being Black Panthers, right? You followed after Martin Luther King, but they killed Martin Luther King, and all Martin, Lu Martin Luther King was talking about was peace. Martin Luther King wanted to hold hands with the white man, the white man shot him dead. That should show you the white man don't care about you guys. Huh. The white man wants to kill, rape, rob, and murder you black suspects and native Indians as much as he can. Huh. So why are you guys gonna hold hands with him? Who, the only people who shot Martin Luther King who wanted, to, wanted peace with them. You guys tell him you're gonna trust these devils, man? They want to kill you, and you guys keep following after them, man. Huh. That's your problem. Read. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then they shall know that a prophet has been among them. So when the, when, when the Most High brings that judgment on you black Spanish native Indians, as, as Pagaya Allah brought out, when, you, when your desolation comes, and the Most High is laughing at you, when a, white, when a white man puts you in that concentration camp, starts torturing you, starts beating you down, Right, most guys gonna be laughing at you. Why? Because you heard you heard the voice in the back in the back of your head. Huh. Give me that Isaiah Isaiah, Isaiah um, twenty eight and twenty. You heard the voice of the Most High telling you walk in this way when you're turning when you're turning to the left and to the right, but you didn't want to do it. You wanted to keep going after your covetousness. You wanted to disregard the law of the Most High God 
And then when the and we told you what was gonna happen, but then when when it finally came down, that's when you started freaking out. Right? That's when you started to look for the prophets when hell broke loose and the servants of the most high God. Not 28 and 20, it's 30 and 20. Yes, 30 and 20. It's 30 and 20. The one thing like that, when I was younger, like that used to trip me out about church. How, how could a man go to church all his life and get shot dead in the streets? After that, after that, like seriously. Because the most I bring the judgment on them. Because they, 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 especially because they have the, the book, the Bible up in there, the, and everything, the commandments, reading it. But they're not doing it. And they're praying to him, they're praying to him man, all the time. They're deceiving themselves. Instead of going one day, you be wicked all week, you pushing drugs six days a week. You probably push they pushing drugs seven days a week, but you just cut, you just put your tux on, you tuck in your, your shirt, and all of a sudden you, you think you're good. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Yet shall you shall not thy teachers be removed in a, into a corner anymore. Right? Yeah, how should I say he didn't come to do away with the prophets or the servants, right? Read. But thine eye shall see thy teachers. That's right. You guys, you guys seen the you seen your teachers, you seen the servants and the prophets of the most high God, whether it's on, on YouTube, on internet, or, or in person. Read. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left. See, that's what we're out here telling our people. But our people, but, but the time is gonna come when when the lot the two two thirds of our people ain't gonna listen. And when their when the judgment comes on them, that's what that's when I'm gonna start, that's when I'm gonna try and repent and turn to the most high God. You got you getting a precept? Or God, Malachi 3 and 13. This is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. So the judgment's gonna begin at you black Hispanics native Indians. You guys thought you we th you guys think you're dying quick now? Most High's gonna start killing you black Hispanics native Indians more. Huh. And by the hand of the white man too. Huh. Don't think don't think it's sweet yet. Read. And if it first begin at us. What shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? That's right. So if the, if the Most High is jacking us up the way he's jacking us up, and the, and the righteous are hardly going to make it, right? The righteous are barely going to make make the salvation. How much more is everybody else going to get jacked up? How much more are the heathen? They're not. They're, the, it's actually, he's being rhetorical, man. They're not going to make it. You, you, if you were born in Canada and America, you were born to die. Huh? If you're not of the elect, you're born to die. That's, That's it. Right. It's, it's, it's that simple. The Most High God made you to die. Huh? Read. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, right? Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? This they ain't, they're not gonna appear. The Most High ain't gonna put them on the chariots. Huh? They're gonna die. Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their soul to Him in well doing, as unto a faithful Creator. Right. Give me Proverbs 16 and 4. This is what happens when this is what happens when you guys listen to your Christian pastors and the, and the so-called white men. He loves giving you smooth words, but the, and the white man's gonna keep giving you them smooth words, which is his doctrines that he's pushing out on you, huh. right? But in the end of the day, when hell breaks loose and his troop, the troops are gonna come, and those troops are gonna be the so-called white man, and they're gonna be killing you guys and, rot, and taking you out of your houses, putting you in the concentration camps, right? Killing your parents and, and, and your loved ones before your faces. Huh. That's what they're going to be doing this whole time. But you wouldn't believe us telling you that this is what they're going to do. You wouldn't believe the us bringing you the words of the Most High God. Read. This is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. The Lord has made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. That's right. The Most High made, the Most High made these other nations just to kill them. You guys were born here just to die. Okay, the Most High didn't make you to live. He made you to die. Okay? You born in Canada and America, you better get ready for death. Then you're gonna, you're gonna be reborn in the kingdom, and you're still gonna be you're still gonna be slaves. 
Huh. We're gonna put you to work. Cause you got y'all, y'all East Indies don't y'all, y'all don't work hard enough, man. Huh? Gotta run for the bus, man. <laughs> got a precept. Huh. This is Amos chapter three verse six. Shall a trump be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord has not done it? Yeah, that's it. Mosiah is the one who who put in you black specks and native Indians to death. Whether it don't it even it doesn't just have to be us. When 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 hell breaks loose, when somebody when a, when a, an Arab wants to run up the side the sidewalk in Toronto with a with a white SUV huh. and kill people on the sidewalk, that's the Lord's side putting the spirit on him to do that. Huh. Right? That, that East Indian, that's how the East Indian is gonna be when we tell him in the kingdom to go pick up some bricks. He's gonna run. That's the right. way he's running for that bus. That's right. That's how they're gonna be in the kingdom. We tell him to go to work, he's gonna run, he ain't gonna be sitting down the way I see you guys in the warehouse, man. Huh. Thinking you can chill. Chop off your, I'll chop off your legs, and I'll, and I'll tell you to run. That's right. And you'll still run. All right. All right. So give me Malachi three and fourteen. Because there are all these precepts I'm showing the state and the mindset of you black smacks and native Indians, and, and and your mindset's nasty and disgusting. But you guys think you guys think celebrating Halloween and Christmas is doing anything for you? You guys always want to fit in with these other nations, but you stand out so much. We, you can try and fit in all you want, even when we're fitting in, we still stand out. Huh. Yes, <laughs> this is Malachi chapter 3, verse 14. You have said it is a vain, it is vain to serve the Most High. The, the Most High keeps saying ye. The Most High, you see how he's speaking to a specific group of people. He's not speaking to a, 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 the whole, everyone on the face of the world. Not everyone on the face of the world has this mindset. Not everyone's suffering the way the black and white native Indian is moving. Right. Is, you, clearly, the Most High is speaking to a certain group of people, and you know this is the Old Testament. The, the pastor told you don't go in the Old Testament because you know the Most High definitely in the, Mo, in the Old Testament. You know the Most High always said Israel, Israel, Israel. How many, how many the scriptures? The Most High gotta call your guys' name, man. You guys don't listen. Come on. Right, read. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinances? See, that's that's how you guys are moving now. You guys say, what, what what profit is it to keep the law, sections and commandments of the Most High God? But the white man don't keep the law, sections and commandments of the Most High God. The other nations don't. Why? And look at them. They're 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 way better off than us, right? Huh? But maybe maybe it's because you guys are the Most High God's chosen people, that's and the Most High God said, if you guys don't keep my commandments, I'm gonna jack you up. That's right. But you guys can't put you can't put two and two together. Exactly. Right? Read. And that we will have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts. And now we call the proud happy. That's, Yay. What, that's what you guys are doing. You call, you call him the white man. The white man is the most proud, proud, proud beast on the face of the earth. Huh. Who can blaspheme the name of the most high God the way he does. But you black and vaccinated Indians, you guys have been gone through hell and in captivity you are still calling on the name of the most high God. You're still praising, you're still praising the higher power. The white man's out here blaspheming the name of the Most High God, and they call, and they want to call, they want to call us evil and wicked. Read. They that work wickedness are set up, are set up. Yeah, they that tempt the Most High are even delivered. See, that's what our people. That's why our people are chasing after these other nations, right? Because they they get to get away with doing all these things. But, but, the most, but what you guys don't understand is that we're the ones who sinned against the Most High God for Him to set them up in, in, in the position that they're in in the first place. Right now you don't know who you are and we're trying to teach you who you are. But, yet, yet when we teach you who you are and tell you what you have to do to get out of the situation, you guys refuse to do it. Read. And they that fear the Lord spake often one to another and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before them for them that fear the Lord and that upon it, and that thought upon his name, and they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. And the most I, the most I didn't say that those that don't keep the, those that don't fear him and don't keep his commandments are, are gonna be his. He said those that, that fear him and that started speaking to see us, we're speaking about the most high. You don't, you don't see a, 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 a lot of our people, they're walking by, they don't know what's going on. The most I said, the, the, then they that fear the most I started speaking off the one to another. We started, we started, they started waking up one day 
Israelites like start waking up one day to their nationality, start talking, we're like, yo, what's going on? Why is the Most High jacking us up like this, you know? Huh. What's wrong with our people? How come they don't want to wake up? Yo, the Most High is so good, yo, yo. Remember how the Most High put that devil in, 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 in the chain in, in, and the God that cop on him, man? But this is like, we're having a heavenly conversation. When Paul came down from, when Paul, when the Most High put his, his spirit back on Paul after he got stoned, Paul said the things he saw in heaven were, you, you couldn't you couldn't speak about it in, in earthly words. Huh. It was unlawful. Paul said it was unlawful to speak about it in, the, in earthly words, man. That's what he said. Read. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. That's right. Those who serve the Most High, that's who he will spare. Okay? Give me Isaiah 1 and 5. And then and then go to three go to three and twelve and then jump to like fifteen sixteen. So this is the state of the black Hispanic and native Indian men who are the children of Israel. This is the state of God's chosen people right now in the captivity that they're in. You guys call them the proud happy, so you want to fall off of these other nations. You guys you guys hear that you see your teachers telling you to, to do good, to don't do evil, but yet you still won't do it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 5. Why should you be stricken anymore? Why, why, should, why should the Most High God jack you black Hispanics and Native Indians up anymore? He's asking you. What, what, more, what more do I have to do? The Most High doesn't, Most High doesn't want to exterminate us, right? So, but he's, but he's like, what else am I supposed to do to you guys since you won't listen to me? Read. You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. That's right. And the whole heart is fake. Right, you guys have no faith, right? Our leaders are, 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 are done kissing the white man's ass and, and, and telling us to go off. Right, but you guys don't want to listen to the ones that are telling you to do good. Right, read. My mom said clogger when I'm dying. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. Right, give me, give me, you, you don't want to, you don't want to hear this, you goddamn devil. I know. Give, give me Isaiah 3 and 12. Isaiah <laughs> 1? 3 and 12. Okay. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. 